The fantastic film A League of Their Own, which was uh, based around the real-life story of the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League, uh, the, the uh, Peoria Red Wings, a team in the league, right. and uh, the character that Madonna played all the way May, uh, some say the inspiration for that character was our next guest. Maybelle Blair joins us in Southern California, one of the stars from the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League. And Maybelle's been in the news recently because she's doing some fundraising. Maybelle, first of all, good morning. Thanks for taking some time with us. Hey, I'm tickled to death to be here. You guys are going to fulfill one of my dreams. Well, tell us about the fundraising you're doing and uh, why everybody's talking. Well, what it's all about is we want girls to be able to have a home of their own, just like the boys do in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. And the home of their own would be no better place than the uh, in Rockford, where the Rockford Peaches play baseball. So we have the property right across the street from Byer Stadium, and we want to have a museum of our own and a Hall of Fame of our own and an activity building with batting cages and um, umpire school. This is what we're trying to do is have women uh, have our own facility that we can call our own because women actually started baseball. And if you'll notice in the stands, there's as many women as there is men, maybe more sometimes. We love baseball just as well. We can't compete with men. We don't want to. What we want to do is to have a, have a facility all of our own in Rockford, uh, Illinois there. Hey, Maybelle, um, you know, you're what, 94 years old, they tell me. My mom's almost 90. So she would always say the things to me like, if we'd had the opportunity you kids have today, you wouldn't even understand it. So I, and would you mother, echo the same thing as my mother did? Your mother was very smart, I'll tell you. Is she still living, I hope? But yes. uh, that's true. My mother uh, and all the mothers, they love baseball. But we haven't had the opportunity. Uh, we want to have a league of our own. There's no way we could compete with men, as you guys know. But give us a chance to do the game we love. We love it as well as you do, or some of us maybe even better. I could uh, keep score before I could say the ABCs. My family insisted on it. So uh, this, these are things that we need to do. And if all the Major League Baseball players and each team would just give us $50,000, we'd be on our way a big time. Um, and that would be a drop in a bucket to some of these fellas and uh, teams. If we just think of it, we need a hundred thousand dollars, a million dollars rather, to just build our activity buildings, which would house the um, batting cages, pitching cages, umpire school. Then we want our own museum, which it cost about eight million, by the way. But that's <laughs> okay. But we want that, and. Uh, we want to put our history in there. We have a great big history line. We even have our own Rockford Peaches bus. We're all set to go, but muddy. And if people would just uh, help us, boy, could we lick the world and we'd get out of their hair and we'd have our own Hall of Fame. Well, maybe uh, maybe some of the entertainment community, people that were involved in the movie, A League of Their Own. I know there are a growing uh, number of women that are involved in Major League Baseball, and hopefully this reaches some of them and they can help your cause. I want to ask you about the movie, though, Maybell, because for a lot of us, we were really unfamiliar with the day-to-day -day workings of the league, before we saw the film. And I know that a lot of the women that played in the league were consultants to the film and had a little bit of say-so in production. Were you one of the people that conferred with the actors and producers of the movie? No, not that one, but we're having a new league of their own, in which I'm really happy. We've got a 10 episode uh, sponsor, I think is Amazon. And uh, it'll be a 10 episode uh, television, a league of their own coming back. And they're going to we're going to start filming in uh, uh, in May. So these are the things that we're looking forward to. And even got my cane here is all signed by the new actors and actresses that will be in that uh, series. But uh, no, I wasn't. But I was in at the end of the movie, uh, the League of Their Own, when they all marched in the Hall of Fame. I was there. Yes. Wow, that's pretty cool. Super. So Maybell, um, what position was your best? Shortstop, pitcher, what, what was your best position, you think? 
you know, Sandy Koufax and uh, Nolan Ryan had nothing on me. I, was, <laughs> I could teach those boys a few things. Don't I wish? W- weren't they terrific? But anyway, I love it. And I still go out play catch with the kids. All the little girls, we had over 500 of them in Rockford playing baseball. You know, we've always been pushed into softball. Oh, you know, it's just like put your apron back on and go raise the babies and everything. Well, we want to play baseball and raise the babies. So anyway, uh, that's what we're after. Uh, we just have to do this, and you guys can really help us, I'll tell you. Well, we, we will do our best. Uh, I think uh, the awareness and, and uh, certainly you as a personality, you go a long way to pushing the movement. I want to ask you about the league itself, and because I, the players, the athletes took it so seriously, did that mean that there was trash talking and were there brawls and were there bad feelings on occasion as there would have been with men? Oh, you better believe it. Uh, (laughs) Maybe we could even talk to something. Um, We had our trash talking. We had our brawls. We had uh, good feelings. It was just just actually like uh, the men's major league. Uh, uh, While you're playing a game, you're out there to win. You know, I don't care how you win. You're going to win if you can. And uh, I don't care if my mother was sliding head first into home. If I had that ball... She'd be out. So, <laughs> I love it. I Maybe love it. is there is there a, a website or some information that we can relay to our viewers who want to help out uh, with the fundraising efforts? Oh, you better believe it. The International Women's Baseball Center. Um, that's our website, and uh, you can go in there and press for fun. And I want you to be sure and have your finger real sharp when you press that button for fundraising. <laughs> I love this. Maybe we sure appreciate the time. What a, pl- a pleasure having you on the program. And we wish you the best in, in what you're trying to accomplish in terms of the awareness and the museum and the center that you're trying to get together. Thanks for your visit today. We appreciate it. Hey, you guys, thanks uh, very much for having us. And if he let me tomorrow, I'll be out again. <laughs> you are a, a treasure. You know, you think we're, you, you think you're kidding. You might find yourself with a very full dance card on this network. So be 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 ready. Hey, this kid can still dance, and I can fill that card and then some. <laughs> Maybell Blair is joining us from Southern California. What a Thank pleasure, you, Maybell.